hello students uh, so now we are going to start with the frames okay so till last class uh, we have solved uh, problems we have on beams okay how to find out static and kinematic indeterminacy for the beams now we are here we are going to start with the frames okay so uh, total there are six problems we are going to solve but for this particular class uh, we are going to consider two problems okay so before we start with the problem let's have the revision quick review of the formulation behind it okay so let's see the formulas so let's revise the formula okay degree of static indeterminacy or degree of redundancy for frames what is the formula that is ds is equal to ds means degree of static indeterminacy is equal to 3m plus r minus 3j minus h okay where m is the number of members r is number of unknown reactions and h is internal hinge and j is number of joints okay how many joints are there that is also we are going to count the degree of kinematic indeterminacy or degree of freedom remains the same like beam okay that is 3j minus r plus h so what are the number of joints number of and r is number of unknown reactions and internal hinges okay so these are the two formulas uh, we need so let's consider two frames frame here this is the frame with one end fixed and other end hinged okay and there are two internal hinges over here it is also having two internal hinges so this is a portal frame okay for this particular frame one is fixed end other is hinged end hinge support now just let us find out what is the degree of static indeterminacy so first let's know what are the unknowns okay so this is a fixed support means there will be a vertical reaction there will be a horizontal reaction and there will be some rotation okay so number of reactions are three here and this is hinge support so there will be one vertical and one horizontal reaction so number of unknowns are two now let us see ds is equal to our formula is ds is equal to 3m plus r minus 3j minus h let us write down the number of members how many members you can see one two three members are three how many unknown reactions you can see three plus two so five reactions are there okay how many joints you can see there are one two three four four joints are there and hinges how many internal hinges one and two okay so two internal hinges so now simply substitute all the values ds is equal to 3 into 3 plus 5 minus 3 into 4 minus 2 so 3 3 is a 9 plus 5 minus 12 minus 2 so this is 14 minus 14 is equal to 0 means this is actually a determinant frame okay so degree of static indeterminacy is 0 for this case now let us find out what is degree of kinematic indeterminacy so simply substitute all the values in this equation 3j minus r minus h so how many joints are there 3 into joints are number of joints are 4 minus unknown reactions are 5 minus internal hinges are 2 so 12 minus 7 12 minus 7 is 5 okay therefore dk value is 5 degree of kinematic indeterminacy or degree of freedom is 5 okay so this is one example we have considered now let us consider one more similar example so in this case the change is it is a frame similar frame with change of supports supports are fixed here and there is a internal hinge in the middle okay so similar question just that number of unknowns will change over here so how many number of unknowns are there because of fixed end three unknowns 
three unknowns okay so this is done then tell me how many members are there one two three four four members are there here how many unknowns that is three plus three is six how many joints are there one two three four five five joints are there and internal hinges are only one substitute and get the answer 3m plus r 3 into m m is 4 plus r that is 6 minus 3 into j minus 1 okay so 12 plus 6 is 18 minus 15 minus 1 16 2 so this is statically indeterminate to degree 2 okay this is your answer and you should ideally write in a statement the wow frame is statically indeterminate to degree 2 okay in exam you should write it uh, nicely now let's see what is the kinematic indeterminacy 3j minus r minus h 3 into j j is 5 we are using the same formula okay 3 into 5 minus j is 5 r is 6 minus internal hinges 1 so 15 minus 7 so kinematic indeterminacy or degree of freedom is answer is 8 okay so these are the two frame equations uh, two problems we have seen here and uh, you remember these two important formulas okay so students hope you understood this uh, uh, particular two problems thanks for listening and we are going to solve uh, more problems in uh, next class